kept catching her trying to throw herself at my baby father. Like she kept trying to throw herself at Troy. <laughs> <laughs> baby. <laughs> Don't play with me, baby, because I get at the for real. Like she would hop, hop, hop. One one week she'll be in a relationship with a girl. Next week she'll be in a relationship with a guy. The next week she'll be in a relationship with his friend. Next week she'll be in a relationship with her friend's friend. Like it was crazy, y'all. It was crazy. It was always drama over there. Cheers. The motherfucking tea. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? Spill the tea. What the? Spill the tea, sis. Hey beauties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey girl, hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you from? Where you at? So y'all see the grind. I'm out here on a good Easter Sunday at 9 in the morning, y'all. It's spring break for us out here for my kids. So you already know how that go. You might see a lot of this. I'm lying, y'all. I just like the scenery. Like, I'm in love with the scenery. That's why. But we'll be back in my room in a few couple days. But for right now, while the sun is shining, baby, I'm taking advantage of the sun. Okay? Hey my beauties, welcome or welcome back to the channel. So today's video is for the girls. We are sponsoring the wig sent by Jeliza. So they have sent over a braided wig, but I'm gonna wait until we get into that. Let's get into the packaging. Ooh, $25 off, all right. So they did send a wig cap. You know, all wigs come with that, some lashes. These were some bomb lashes. I had to give y'all a close up because they were stepping. Also a hanger, I was like, what's that for? What's that for? But then I seen that the bag, you can hang the bag up in your closet. Not a wig hanging in the closet. Yes, girl, a wig hanging in the closet. So, yes, this is what y'all been waiting for. So, this is the wig they sent me. This is a 36-inch boho tangless braided wig. And it is triangle parts. Oh, my God. The hairline. Do y'all see the edges? It looks so natural. This is 100% human hair. And it is tangless. It do not tangle. Trust me. Let's do a tangle test better yet. Let, let's see what it's given. So before I cut my hair, this is one of the styles that I always wanted to get, but it was always bad reviews about it tangling a day after. So this is a solution. Like this wig company definitely came up with a solution to the tangleness. You don't need to be worried about getting your hair tangled anymore. Go get a wig from Jeliza. So yeah, we're definitely about to install this wig from start to finish. This video is beginner friendly. It is super easy. Well, this wig was super easy because baby. But yeah, y'all already know I cut my hair and bald headed. Got the little face beat. So, you know, the first thing I want to do is I want to take some alcohol, wipe up them edges. Okay. I just want to wipe them down so there's no makeup on there. Brush it up. Now, again, a hundred percent tangleless. This is a third try for the ladies in the back. Who do not believe me? Now, watch me as I run my fingers through it. Okay. It's definitely giving. Oh, my God. I just went from bald to hair in five seconds. I just became that girl in five seconds. This wig is giving, like, you know, you could also wear her glueless as well, right? Yeah, you can also wear her glueless, but I'm not. I'm going to glue her down because I want to look like a baddie for a couple of days. And this wig definitely gave me baddie vibes. Like, get into the scalp. Like, oh, my God. They did, Jeliza, y'all did y'all big one. Y'all definitely did y'all big one. Hold on, let me give y'all a close-up of the scalp because it's giving. Now, this step is optional. You don't need to do this. I just happen to do this with all my wigs, even though clearly you could tell this wig did not need it. But, you know, I always got to be extra. So, watch my boy herself be extra. Yeah, these companies be funny. They be waiting till I go bald. So, one of oh, you want to do this wig? You know I want to do the wig, girl. You want me with hair again? But, yeah, this lace is definitely HD lace. That's why it's looking already like it's melted. And it's not even cut or nothing. But it definitely was blending in with my skin. I recommend this wig 10 out of 10. And it ain't even glued down yet.
These are the most natural edges I have ever seen on any wig. Normally, you know, wigs will come. They will be all thick. Nah, those was perfectly fine. I love those edges. But yeah, so I'm going to tie it back and I'm going to get ready to cut the lace because I do have to cut around my ear tab so the wig can sit properly. So I'm not going to lie, y'all. When you cutting on your ear tab sometimes, you might lose a braid. I I'm not going to lie. But yeah. So not only did I cut the ear tabs, but I did go ahead and go to the back of the wig and I also cut the lace off the back of the wig so it would not show because this is a 360 lace wig. Now here's the fun, messy, sticky part, y'all. So we are going to use Ebon Spray, Ebon, Ebon, whatever you call it. I stick by this spray. This spray is for the gods. This is the go-to, okay? But yeah, so we're going to do three layers, y'all. I did it one by one, and I also use my blow dryer after each layer. So yeah. So before you stick the lace to the glue, please make sure it is aligned on your head correctly. You do not be wanting to walk around with a lopsided wig, y'all. So please make sure before you press the glue and before you press the lace into the glue, before you do any of that, you make sure that it is aligned properly. You stretch it. You do whatever that you need to do to make sure, okay? Yes, edges. Do you see it? Baby hairs. Mm-hmm. That's the head nod because it was definitely given. It looked like I didn't even have no lace on. It's crazy because I didn't even touch the lace or cut it yet. But it already looked melted. Like, I'm telling y'all, y'all got to run and get this wig because I'm going to get another one. I know that. Now, what I like to do is I like to push my baby hairs up so they will not get in the way. And I spray another thing of Ebon Spray. Ebon Spray, whatever y'all want to call it. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show y'all that. And look at the melts already. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This the one. This the wig for you. And I know a lot of y'all use combs. So, you know, pressing the, the lace and everything. No, I use a brush. I need to be rough. I want it to stick. I need it to last a couple of days. Feel me? Because I need to be a baddie for a couple of days. You know what I'm saying? This is the most important step, ladies. Before you bend up the lace, please, please make sure that the glue is completely 100% dried. It shouldn't be sticky. It shouldn't be tacky. It should be completely dry. Normally, I bend for an hour. You, that's just my preference. But you could bend for 15 minutes, 10 minutes. But I wanted to bend for an hour. But yeah, looking cute already. Oh, I'm back. And it wasn't an hour, y'all. It definitely was two hours. I done cooked, clean, and did everything else. Don't be like me. But yeah, now it's time to cut the lace. And I'm going to just go ahead and just cut, cut, cut. So after I cut the lace, I do go ahead with some more alcohol and I wipe down my edges. I wipe down the perimeter because I know all of that spray. So right here, what I do is I spray little dots. You don't need a lot and I just press it into the lace. Press it. Make sure it's pressed firmly. Make sure it's sticking because you do not want your ends to come up. Normally, they will come up after you cut, but this wig was laying. It was nothing coming up, but I just did it for extra precaution. So, yeah, here's me blow drying once again, making sure everything is dry, and it was. So, now I'm going to do my edges, y'all. I can't give y'all no advice on edges. I don't even know how to do edges right, but what I'm going to say is just leave it up to God. Let God help you with this part because I think he helped me a little bit. You know, I'm still learning, but, um, yeah, this part, I advise you just leave it up to God god and swoop it to the left or the right and then yeah i don't know but um hopefully it comes out cute let's see okay it, mm, I, I guess god did a good job okay. mm, all right all right edges looking edgy hair looking hairy and look no tangle So yes, I wanted y'all to see the back so y'all can see the parts look very realistic. You can see through. Oh my God, it was giving. But I'm going to show y'all a clip of me outside because I want y'all to see the length of it. It goes past my booty. It is 36 inches. Thank you, Jeliza, for sponsoring this video. I recommend...
So let's get straight into the story time, y'all. So y'all know when we young and our parents be telling us like, oh, you shouldn't hang out with that girl. That girl really not your friend. That girl really not your friend. It's like the parents see stuff that we don't see. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of ironic how when we little girls and our parents are adults and we tell our parents as children, like we telling them like, mommy, I don't think that's your friend. Daddy, I don't think that's your friend. When you turn around, da 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 Because children can see things too, but the parents don't believe us so yeah we gonna talk about something like that so yeah my mother had a friend okay i mentioned her in a couple story times y'all i named her fake aunt now for this story time let's just go ahead and give her a name i'm sorry if the little bird is doing too much but just just, just hear me out so we gonna name fake aunt in this story time and all throughout we gonna name fake aunt yellow okay we gonna name her yellow I knew yellow since I was like yay high, since I was like a little girl. This has been my mother friend for years. I remember like almost every single apartment, every single house that she lived in, in the Bronx, every chef. I remember every single thing about this woman. So let me just give y'all a little background of how yellow was. So yellow, she didn't have no girls, y'all. Yellow had straight boys. She only had boys. She, she had took custody of her, um, her nephews so she had her nephews she had her sons it was just a house full of boys y'all this was truly baby's kids <laughs> She got three more kids, bro. Okay, this was baby kids. The boys was bad as hell. Remember I told y'all story time about how I was on the bikes and I was riding with the boys and we went all the way to Manhattan and then get it. Those are the same brothers, y'all. Those are the same brothers. Those those her sons. We we been rocking, you know, since yay high. You know, we call each other cousins and stuff like that. Hello is very, very messy. She's very messy, okay? So growing up, I told y'all I lived with my grandmother or whatever, right? My grandmother would always put my mother out. So my mother would go and she would stay with her best friend. You know what I'm saying? So she would go live with her best friend or whatever. And it was just her. So her best friend would always take her in. But I always, when I went over there, I used to see certain little funny things going on. But I was a child. So again, I wasn't allowed to speak on it. But now I'm old enough, yeah, I'm speaking on it. Because me and my mother just had this conversation on the phone yesterday. And I was trying to tell her, like, Mommy, I kept telling you that lady was not your friend. And you was not believing me. And my mother was like, I know she was jealous of me. But you know she did help me you know when I ain't had nowhere to go I get that I get that but was it really giving friend damn my kid my battery dying already so basically everybody in my family knew about fake aunt I mean like my whole mother side of the family even my father side of the family my father knew about her everybody knew this lady ways everybody knew what this lady was capable of everybody knew this lady was really like giving evil if you really think about it everybody knew this lady was a hater everybody knew she had nothing going on for herself but still people stuck around her and stuck beside her growing up when I used to go to fake aunt house fake aunt house was always lit okay because I told her she had nothing but boys so they used to have all of their boyfriends in there. Huh? Not boyfriends like that. But you know, male friends or whatever. It used to be over 50. It's just running through the crib as little kids. You know what I'm saying? They had these dogs. That's another thing. She always kept dogs. Vicious dogs at that. Where they would train them to, to sick people. It, weird. Weird stuff. I remember this one dog. Like her sons used to try to try to sick on me or whatever. And I used to hide in the bathroom. But like the dogs they was really like young and playful. So they would play. They wasn't really trying to attack me. But I thought because I was young that they were trying to attack me. So I was like oh no nah, I'm not messing with them dogs. Right. She really had no control over her household. Like instead of her being a mother she wanted to fit in with the kids like you want to be over here getting drunk sleeping with your son's friends like hold up wait a minute it just never gave that it was always drama when i was to go over there hence that's why the years that my mother did stay with fake aunt my family didn't want me to go over there because it was always something going on at yellow house like they would have parties all the time yellow she would not stay in a a, a relationship like she would hop 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 one one week she'll be in a relationship with a girl next week she'll be in a relationship with a guy the next week she'll be in a relationship with his friend next week she'll be in a relationship with her friend's friend like like, it was crazy y'all it was crazy it was always drama over there it was always fights over there it was people sneaking through the windows stealing cereal what it was crazy like now that you know a little of the backstory whatever. so to describe fake aunt i would say that fake aunt was very promiscuous like fake aunt was one way when she was sober like she was cool she was okay you know what i'm saying but then it's like when she was drunk 
or high because she did dibble and dabble on the right stuff but if she was drunk or high now it was oh i'm about to fight my friends i'm about to get my friends to fight my friends i'm about to do this whole like she would stir up mad drama she would have parties she would set girls up at the party get them beat up oh this person did you know this person sleeping with your man da -da -da, when she was there when you know she was real real messy y'all and i never liked her and i always used to tell my mother this and my mother used to tell me like you tripping like you a little girl stay in a little girl's place but i always told my mother the same way you told me that she is not my friends when i was young I'm trying to tell you this girl is not your friend, but my mother she she have a big heart like me She really wasn't trying to hear that like she was like no this been my best friend for years Baby that girl jealous of you like something is off something is off They would have little arguments right and like she would say stuff to my mother This is how I knew she, she was jealous of my mother. She would say stuff to my mother like oh Yeah, I wish I could live your life. Yeah, you only got one kid you free you could do whatever you want to do I got all of these sons da -da 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 -da. Your life is good. You could come and go as you please I can't do this that and the third and they would be arguing over something like chicken shut the fuck up why is it you bringing up all of this stuff about her about a chicken argument like it gave you're jealous that's what it gave you you're jealous boom let's let's start getting into incidents leading up to the incident at hand okay so one day i'm over there at fake on house right i'm like 14 years old i told y'all from another story time y'all know the messy sisters i think i named them joy problem child and i forgot the rest of the names but the messy sisters right so they lived on the fourth floor fake aunt which is yellow she lived on the second floor at this time this one they was living on longfellow now when i tell y'all where they was living a lot of y'all probably gonna be like damn i know exactly who y'all talking about i know exactly who you're talking about charisma but i don't care I don't care because lady you deserve this and i'm gonna tell y'all why at the end she deserved the story time so one time or whatever my mother she had this little boyfriend or whatever and it was real cool so fake aunt well yellow and my mom you know they was getting drunk or whatever in the house and i'm sitting there i'm in the living room i'm watching tv in the living room i'm chilling i'm minding my business you know just being a kid you know what i'm saying some of her sons is in there we just talking it's just regular trust we all treat each other like cousins so it was not nothing no no nasty stuff going on between me and the sons none of that extra stuff going on right everybody chilling everybody having a good time so they start to get drunk now fake aunt her little boo i'm let me stop calling her fake aunt yellow her little boo she he come up in there right so he come up there now and now yellow she get to start acting funny she get to start trying to show off so she starts this argument with my mother and she just basically telling her like yeah that's why you ain't really got nowhere to go that's why you this that's why you that that's why you this you, you act like you better than me but you're not better than me so my mother looking at her but my mother like what are you talking about like we friends like and it's so crazy that i'm saying it's talking about this because when I was a little girl, I would hurt for my mother because I would be like, damn, like, these people really treat her wrong, bro. And she just really trying to sit here and take it because she need them or she, I hated that for my mother. So I would just be hurt for her. But I'm just in the back watching. At this time, I'm like 14, y'all. So I'm watching and fake on just like, yeah, you think you better than this, da, 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 da. That's why this nigga don't really want you. Yeah, that's why he was trying to be with me, da, da, da. Saying all this stuff to my mom. So my mother's like, whatever, like, it's not even that deep. Like, it's not even deep. My mother's laughing at all because my mother's drunk. Like, she start, she just laughing at all. So my mother's laughing at all for whatever. She's telling her, like, nah, you high right now. Like, you just trying to start trouble. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to fight you tonight. Like, just, just leave me alone. So the girl, she just started getting up in my mother's face, talking crazy to my mom so my mom's telling her like listen we both drunk we both lit right now i really don't want to hurt you like you giving me jealous vibes so the girl she start going off jealous jealous why would i be jealous of you so she started bringing up the drugs that my mom do and stuff like this mind you she on the same ones she on the same ones so she started bringing up you know the stuff that my mother dibble and dabble in, the men that she choose to be with all of this so my mother's basically telling her like yeah well i've been with my boyfriend for this many years you don't see me hopping from tom to King harry like you do you've been living on this block for a year and you already had seven dudes but this is what the problem actually is though to the whole house even the sons they like oh so it's getting there it's, it's it's getting up there it's getting up there the tensions is crazy you see the two dudes standing up now they trying to get in the middle of them because they getting closer yellow she just keep inching up to my mother so i'm telling her like mind you i told you i'm only 14 i'm a child i see what's going on and i see my mother's too drunk clearly to defend herself you know what i'm saying 
So my mother gets up or whatever. She basically telling her like, yo, you get out of my face. Like you doing too much. Every time people come over here, my nigga come over here. People come over here. You be trying to play me. You trying to show off. And like, I'm not with that. Like you trying to show off. You trying to be my friend. But at the same time, you trying to show off. Feel me? So I'm just in the background watching. So I'm like, yo, fake aunt. Like you doing too much. Like you really doing too much. So my mother tell me, my mother like, no, just stay out of it. Charisma, you know, you're a little girl. It's not like, you know, just let me handle my friend. You be a kid. Let me handle my friend. I said, okay, that was it. So fake aunt, I guess she seen me. Like she seen me, the, the scene. She, she seen it. And she didn't want me to make no calls either because fake aunt, she was really, really, really scared of Spongebob. I don't know why, because Spongebob ain't never throw these, throw them, sh she ain't never throw them. Sh she should have been scared of me because I was throwing them sh at that time. She was really scared of Spongebob, so she did not want me to make that call. Basically, they was good the whole day. They was straight the whole day. It was just them two together. Then when other people start coming in like they adult friends or whatever, that's when Yellow start trying to play my mother, calling her name, talking about her wig, talking about how she dressed, talking about how she look how it is how she just critiquing everything about her that wasn't just a problem before these people came that you trying to show off for you trying to get your ass beat in front of these people Boop. that's what you're trying to do fake aunt i guess she didn't want me to be involved in the argument or even witness the argument because she knew i maybe i would call spongebob because yeah she was scared of her and i knew that and i was i was tired of it so i was like yo soon as she tried to you know what i'm saying like this time i'm i'm saying something i'm not just gonna let her bully my mother bro because i don't watch this too long you know what i'm saying so boom but this time y'all they go downstairs i stay upstairs and i stay in the child's place i continue watching tv i try to just push it out my mind i hear them arguing downstairs because mind you yellow only lived on the second floor i hear them arguing downstairs i hear a lot of commotion next thing you know i the door just bust open i'm like what the hell is going on you hear running through the house they running through the hall so i'm like who is this y'all it's joy and her sisters it's the messy sisters from upstairs so the messy sisters they like charisma charisma that's downstairs no you need to say something to yellow you need to say something to yellow this girl downstairs embarrassing your mother making your mother cry she just put your mother wig out in the middle of the street <laughs> <laughs> baby <laughs> Don't play with me, baby, because I get active for real. She's trying to hit your mother. You need to go say something to her. You need to go say something to her. I'm tired of her violating auntie. I'm tired of her violating auntie. Because they used to call, they used to call yellow, like the messy sisters, even though they lived upstairs. They used to call my mother and they used to call yellow, like fake aunt and stuff, like how I say it. But they called my mother auntie and then her name. Again, I'm 14, bro. I jump up. I jump up, put my shoes on, I run downstairs. So I run downstairs, I get downstairs, I see my mother, I see the girl all in my mother's face. She's pushing my mother to the car. My mother's telling her like, stop, I don't want to hurt you, I don't want to hurt you, I don't want to do this to you, I don't want to do this to you. So the boy, he in the middle, like he, like my mother's boyfriend, he in the middle trying to like stop yellow from hitting my mom and it's not helping. So I run over there, I start squaring up, I'm like, get the fuck away from my mother, get the fuck away from my mother. So fake aunt, she like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, tell your daughter to back up. It's not even like that. You don't even understand that we friends. We go through this. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say like fake aunt. She was in the middle of the street. She was like, oh, how can you disrespect me like that? Me and your mother was best friends for so many years. I basically watched you grow up. I basically helped her raise you when you was over here. How can you disrespect me like that? I'm like an auntie. Why would you ever try to put your hands on me? I would never do that to you. You know how I am. Like, basically trying to manipulate the situation. Like, I didn't see what was going on with my own eyes. Like, oh, it's your mother's fault. Like, I don't even know why she, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was one of those things. So now she's trying to explain to me so Joy and them, they come up, they like, nah, fuck all that. Nah, it ain't no we friends. You was down here trying to play her. You was down here doing this, doing that. Why you doing that when you know she got she got a daughter? She da, 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 da. Like, it's a whole bunch of commotion. So I'm fake trying to get it with fake aunt because low-key, I didn't like her anyway. Like, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I didn't like her anyway. I never liked her. I just tolerated her because my mother. So, like, I was like, yeah, it's 14. I finally get the, this bitch on her. Yeah, cause I, I was I was too hyped. So I'm like, yeah. So what, what you were saying? What you was doing? Like what you were saying? You want to keep disrespecting my mother? You want to keep disrespecting my mother? So now I'm running up on her, right? So fake aunt, she is running around the car, grabbing my mother's boyfriend, telling, get her, get her, get her. She's tripping, she's tripping. So I'm like, nah, I'm not tripping, I'm not tripping. You tripping? So the whole time I'm chasing her around the car. The messy sisters is screaming like, no, yellow. Why would you do that? You doing that? So one of the sisters they hugging my mom. They trying to like tell her like it's gonna be okay. Like it's 
okay my mom she crying and stuff like my mom crying and she's telling her like yo i really don't want to hurt her i know if i put my hands on her like that's my best friend if i put my hands on her i'm gonna hurt her bro like, i'm gonna hurt her so my mother wasn't trying to like hit her back and stuff like that and i'm like no mama you need to whoop her it's because she not finna be treating you no way she not like my mother is my baby bro like you not finna be playing with my mother in my face you not finna be playing with my mother in my face and she just kept playing with my mother in her face so long story short, that night, fake aunt was scared. Like, she stopped all the things that she was doing. She tried to take us upstairs and have a whole kumbaya and explain. She tried to justify, like, she literally is a gaslighter. She's a manipulator. Like, she literally tried to gaslight the whole situation. Like, the only reason why she did this, that, and the third, because my mother said this or my mother did that. When we witnessed everything that happened, because it happened every time. Like, y'all be cool, then you invite people, and then now you want to fight my mom, or you want to talk about her, or you want to violate her. Like, it wasn't giving that bro i watched this shit transpire it was never giving that it wasn't giving that moving on to the next incident after that y'all they they stopped talking for like a week and then they got back cool but it never stopped so it was my birthday y'all it was my 10th birthday i remember this so crazy y'all i remember this so crazy because my dad i was over there with my mom my dad had came over and i remember this day because my dad actually had beat up a crack he beat up in the hallway because the was doing while we was in the hallway running up and down because i'm running from the fourth floor to the second floor because i'm with the messy sisters and i'm running back down so yellow crib everybody you know my mother and my dad like they not together you know what i'm saying but still have some decency like still have some respect like that is the that's the father of her kid like that's the mother of his kid like don't don't sit here and like try to disrespect my mom so like fake aunt or whatever everybody's there my dad comes over because at this time my dad is living in delaware so he come visit me or whatever and he comes to new york who is this texting me yeah so he my dad come visit me for my birthday or whatever he comes to fake aunt crib mind you he knows fake aunt we all like i said it's been my mother's friend forever so we all watch everything so my dad comes over or whatever everything is going on mind you my dad don't even smoke he don't smoke so he's not indulging in none of the stuff he just want to see his daughter check out his baby mother doing drop off a few dollars give a couple hugs and he's trying to leave go back to work feel me so my dad comes over or whatever mind you we in yellow crib we in the living room or whatever i come down with the messy sisters now we down there or whatever now the adults they kind of drunk like they drinking we not gonna lie my dad he's not so drunk he's sober like he's just watching seeing what's going on and yeah even though my mother and my father is not together and they haven't been together in years and they're not thinking about getting together and they're not even like that why he is fake on aka yellow trying to sleep with my father i know you lying okay girl i we understand this your house this is your house we here but you don't have the respect like it's my birthday this is my dad coming to see me and you trying to throw the coochie at him while your man is here not a that man was there in the house bruh and she's trying to throw her cootie cat on my father my father's telling her my father cracking jokes on her like it never gave that it never gave that i indulge with your type it never gave that i don't want nothing to do with that like you you my baby mother's friend why would i even do that make it make sense it's to the point yellow asking my mother is it okay if she smash him what the fuck you doing bro you wildin like, you buck like keep that over there you wildin and my mother sitting there like bitch no are you dumb like are you dumb are you stupid are you dumb mind you i'm 10 years old i'm watching all of this unfold i should have told this story first because i was 10 here and then 14 the story i just told y'all but it don't even matter we just saying the stories to tell y'all why i don't like her because i need y'all to understand bro i need y'all to understand well, let's move on to the next incident because they never slept together my mother was not having that they got into a little slight argument but everybody let it go feel me let's get to the next incident so again my mother and yellow it's they was like a toxic relationship but without the relationship part it was weird my mother and fake aunt they sitting there they cool they chilling they spirits is up they just came back from hunts point they just went shopping got them some new tims got them an outfit got them a cute wig got them a liquor bottle they they doing a big one this this weekend right they they thinking they so super cute they doing a shit right all of a sudden my mother and yellow get into an argument. It's too much tea, bitch, for me. This time, my mother's not drunk. So my mother defends herself. My mother's like, nah, you ain't finna play with me. I don't care who house this is. I'ma lay you down in your own house on God. I'm not playing with you. Fake aunt, which is yellow, she goes, she calls her sister. Why? 
she calls her sister. So now her sister run up in there. Mind you, her sister run up in there with a kid on her chest. Ooh, the ghetto. Okay, her sister run up in there trying to fight my mom. Now it's fake aunt and it's her sister trying to jump my mom right there in the hallway we all watching this as kids we like what the hell what the hell is going on what the hell is going on so me as a little girl i know like okay you you probably could fight like other kids but you can't beat really two adult women so i get on the phone and i call spongebob i'm like yo um they trying to jump my mom like i don't know what's going on but like fake on mind you spongebob don't like fake on anyway so she was looking for a reason to come over there kick in doors and wow it up feel me so fake aunt is kind of like i mean spongebob is kind of like a bully feel me but sh only she could bully her family she don't like what other people do it i don't like that when i tell you spongebob was over there in 2.5 i thought she flew okay she was known for hopping in and out of cabs to, to come but never if you get it <laughs> They don't even know. I call SpongeBob. SpongeBob on the way. They trying to jump my mother. People just in the middle of it telling them to chill. My mother got the bottle. My mother ready to go to work. My mother go grab it. Like she ready to get to work with them hoes. So I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting back, but I'm calm and I'm, I'm, I know everybody in the crib. Like damn, why charisma so calm? Like you know, she really a hothead. She usually get up, be ready to swing. Nah, boo. I already got something up my sleeve. Y'all too. Y'all think? And the sister mad big. Like y'all really think y'all finna? Nah, she got sisters too. Like, she got sisters too, bruh. Her and her sister beefing because she don't like you. Spongebob don't like you. And Spongebob keeps telling my mother, stop hanging out with Yellow. Stop going to Yellow house. Yellow is not your friend. Yellow is this. Yellow is that. But at the same time, my mother explaining to Spongebob, I don't have no choice. Like, I go over there because I really don't have no way to go. Mommy keep putting me out. I don't really know. I'm one person. I don't really know. I dropped out of school. I don't have an education. Like, she... She going through it, feel me? She trying to figure life out. And she thought, as Yellow being her friend for many, many years, that none of this would happen. But y'all, I'm telling you, this lady was so jealous of my mother. It's crazy. Like, my mother would always say that shit. She would be like, yo, I have nothing, bruh. I have literally nothing. And people still be hating on me. It's your aura, mommy. It's when you walk in a room and you light it up and people still trying to figure out how can you do that without even opening your mouth. Because you're that girl. I know that's right. Period. I called Spongebob whatever Spongebob on the way. Like, she didn't even say no two words. I was like, yo, um, auntie, they trying to jump mommy. Um, yellow and her sister, I don't know. They trying to jump mama. Da, 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 da. She said, say no more. Hung up. Next thing I know, it was banging on the door. It was mad banging on the door. So, bo, 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 bo. so now, yellow and the sister, they stopping in tracks. They like, oh, wait, what happened? What? Who is that? Who at the door? So, her little boo, um, damn, there's too many damn names. Yellow, her little boo, he goes to the door, he peeking or whatever, he go, he like, um, it's Spongebob at the door. That, that, that that's, that's homegirl, that's homegirl sister. She, she, she at the door. She, and she ain't by herself, she ain't by herself. All right, so let me tell you the tea, right? Y'all, Spongebob bought baby D with her, bro. No, no. Mm -mm. Yellow ain't play with Baby D. Yellow was petrified of Baby D. Feel me? Petrified because Baby D really tried to put Yellow on her neck because Yellow been doing this shit to my mother. It was a period of time where Baby D and her mother was going through it. She was staying in Yellow house for like two weeks. She was living in Yellow house. See, Yellow had the type of house. Yellow used to run the type of house that I used to run when I first, you know, became a mom and then my grandmother died and I had my own crib. She she ran that type of house that I used to run. If you need help or you need somewhere to stay, come pick a corner. This is a shelter. <laughs> <laughs> Yellow was running that same type of house like even though she had messed up ways and when she drank she come out of her body and she was you know she was messy as hell she really did have a good heart I feel like if she would have never indulged in the liquor and the white a lot then her relationships with everybody would have been better but like i've watched that lady fall out with literally everyone in her life like everyone in her life she didn't know how to control like her drinking and stuff but yeah we basically ran the same house she ran the show so you needed somewhere to stay you needed a meal a hot meal a shower yellow would give it to you you need the clothes off her back she giving it to you you need somewhere to stay she ain't got no room she gonna let you sleep on her bed and she'll sleep on the couch like she, she that's how yellow was like yellow had a good heart but it's like everything else made her 
mm -mm. so spongebob and baby z they come they pull up so now i get up off the couch because now i want to see the action y'all was about that life y'all was really trying to hurt my mother in here y'all was trying to jump on my mother and my mother was trying to defend herself now i want to see what y'all do SpongeBob and Z, Baby D, they, as soon as they open the front door, as soon as somebody open the front door for them, they start running down the hallway, running through the crib. Like, when I say, like, linebacker, two, imagine two linebacker football ass bitches running through your crib, knocking shit. Boom, boom. I almost called the cops. <laughs> so they straight knocking shit, knocking the sister, boom, knocking yellow, boom. So I'm like, yo. So I told you, Yellow got mad sons. So at this time, they see like they mother and they aunt, they finna get boom, boom, bow. So they all jump in the middle. Where was this energy when my mother was just, uh, up against this wall trying to defend herself from these two sisters? Y'all didn't help my mother. But now my mother got help and they know Baby D was crazy. They wasn't really too much worried about SpongeBob. They probably was worried about her weight because she was knocking them bitches down. But they was really worried about Baby D because Baby D prior to that she had a ready okay let me tell you the short story prior to this situation a week before that baby d had a ready try to fight yellow in her crib because baby d remember her her mother was going through something her mother put her out for a little bit so she went she stayed at fake aunt's crib right which is yellow crib baby d had a hand problem so baby d was over there Boom, 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 boom. Knocking out yellow suns. Oh my son. Like, all of these boys, they thought they was, yeah, we teens, we did. Nah, baby D was over there, boom, 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 knocking them out, knocking their girlfriends out. The one, the son that she liked, baby D was over there beating the girlfriend up. Baby D was over there terrorizing them hoes. So basically, fake aunt had told her she had to go, or whatever. But mind you, when she told her she had to go, fake aunt was beefing with my mother. Like, Try to start something with my mother. So baby D was willing to lay out fake aunt for my mom type shit because she was talking so crazy. Baby D, she already had it out for fake aunt. So she was like, oh my god. I know this story probably everywhere, but like it's so many details of this like oh my god like I'm trying to tell y'all everything like It was crazy y'all just know it was crazy. It was going down So they jump the sun jump in the middle and they trying to help fake aunt or whatever and her sister And I'm sitting here like nah, that's not fair. I'm screaming like no let her go Let her go. Let my mother go. Let them go because nah, where was this energy? They was really in here trying to do my mother in let, let let them nah nah let, let let them fight let them fight so now i'm going over there i'm pulling them hands i'm pulling their hands off of them now i'm mad that i start swinging at the boys because they're untight because i'm like nah 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 y'all was just gonna let this big sister do all of this like it wasn't giving none of that it wasn't giving none of that at this point now they calm down everybody everybody in the living room everybody in fake on living room spongebob she going in she like yeah she talking to my mother but you know spongebob the little sister but she big so it always used to be funny when she used to try to like yell at my mom so spongebob she get in there and she start yelling at my mom she like yeah I told you to leave this alone. We know we don't with her. We don't like this hoe. This da 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 da. She thick ass bitch. She jealous of you. I can't stand her. Da 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 da. Like she going in. She going in. So then baby D like yeah. I've been told you to leave this thick ass bitch alone. That's why I beat your kids up. I'ma beat you up. Da da da. So I'm like oh like it's going down. It's going down. So you know me. Mind you the whole time I'm not saying nothing. Y'all I'm chilling because I'm just like I'm seeing it for what it is and it's giving like. They aren't you really not about that life. Go sit down somewhere. Because every time somebody try to come fight you, you trying to, oh no, let me explain why it's your sister trying to make my, my mother look like the bad person. Because they knew my mother was a pop-off dummy. My mother did shit. You know what I'm saying? So she would always try to make my mother seem like the bad person, which everybody would believe it because they know my mother known for just punching a bitch doing this for no but no it was never like that bitch she was over there bullying my mother and like yeah i called i make that call bitch i made that call yeah like pull up like one thing about me my my call game was crazy as soon as i seen something and then my mother would always tell me oh stay out of stay in a child's place i hate when they use that but you about to get your ass beat and i jumped out of a child's place to make a call for you <laughs> to help you so fake aunt she wound up explaining they had a whole guy there as a mediator because spongebob and baby d and my mother they trying to get to the sister in them and they just telling them no it's not giving that just leave it alone that's what the people saying in the house and it's not giving that just leave it alone it's not worth it you know um this person and yellow they've been best friends it don't matter if y'all sit here and fight y'all gonna look mad dumb because they're gonna be friends again next week everybody got that part 
So fake aunt, she made it clear she didn't want to fight. She didn't want no smoke. When I tell you she was literally licking the bottom of SpongeBob boot as she was leaving, she was trying to be her friend so bad. Be her friend so bad. Like, it was crazy. SpongeBob told her as she was leaving, she was like, I still don't like you. Still don't fuck with you. And if somebody else call me about you trying to do something to my sister, I'm going to knock your so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Like, she's telling her all that, right? Next incident, y'all, because... They still wound up being cool. I told you this is like a toxic relationship without the relationship, y'all. Like my mother was so like, uh, I'm I'm happy. It took her over 20 years to learn though. You know them them friendship breakups be crazy. Like it's to the point where like they wouldn't talk no more. They wouldn't be friends for like eight months, and then they would call each other with these googly eyes. Oh my god, best friend, I miss you so much. You don't know what I've been through. And then the best friend, like, oh my god, yes, because Mike man and he did this to me. Oh my god, I need you so much. And then next thing you know, they back together as friends. Like, dumb. You are really dumb. For real. It was crazy, y'all. So this is another reason why I could not stand fake aunt because she was so fucking fake, y'all. She was so fake. So I used to be downstairs, and you know, as a kid, it's not like you're really in adults' business, but you would listen. You hear when they speak. I used to hear fake aunt talk mad stuff about the messy sisters and their mother. Mad stuff. Mind you, they live on the fourth floor. Fake aunt and them live on, on the second floor. I used to hear, she used to be talking mad stuff about them upstairs. Mad stuff about them. Then I would see her go up there. I would go up there. Well, she, oh, Charisma, come with me upstairs. For some reason, she was nervous to go up there by herself. It's, it's because she knew. I felt like she knew, like, these bitches gonna know I was just talking shit about them. It's like, when you look at fake on face, you could you could tell everything that's going on. If you get what I mean, like, you look at her face, you could be like, yeah, this bitch is talking shit. Yeah, this bitch feel a type of way. Like, she wear her emotions on her face. Like, she can't hide it. So, I guess she, she would know, like, damn, they gonna know I was talking about them or something. So, she would tell me to go up there with her. Her, I guess to ease the tension so I would walk in the house with her mad tension feel me so messy the messy sisters they mother would say something like oh so now you up here at being fake or after hanging out with this person like they was always checking her on the fourth floor bro they was always checking her so she would always try to get out of it you no know, because you know nah it was her mother who did that because her mother started that hey, when people lie do not lie and I'll be sitting there like girl you know that was you but as again i'm a child so i'm trying to stay in a child's place but i would just be looking at fake art like if you scared just say that if you're scared just say you scared because like you just making stuff up you was literally just talking about them and now y'all say it was my mother like literally watch you like bro oh oh this girl Fake aunt days, my mother had the same boyfriend forever, feel me? She would wait until my mother get with this boyfriend, bring the boyfriend over, and then she would try to hook her friends up with my mother's boyfriend. Come on, stop. We not gonna jump you. Like, she would be doing mad weird stuff. Obviously, my mother go to the store, her boyfriend would stay there, and then fake aunt would go to her friend and be like, yeah, you should go do this because, yeah, because, yeah, blah, 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 blah. She the one, she was with it when Baby Powder was caught in the bed with my mother's nigga. She was with it. She she orchestrated the whole thing, y'all. Yeah. Damn! She orchestrated the whole thing. Like, if y'all really read in between the lines when y'all listen to these stories, like, y'all would know so much. I can't just blurt certain things out on YouTube. But, yeah, like, she orchestrated the whole thing. When Baby Powder was found in the bed with my mom's boyfriend, I told y'all that story in the Baby Daddy series, and my mother pulled her out the bed. Guess who house they were in? They were in fake aunt's house. Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? My mother's boyfriend friend was in the room with fake aunt. Like, this was like a two man. <laughs> a two man thing going on. And she orchestrated this shit behind my mother's back, bro. So then when my mother pulled the girl out the back, everything fake aunt was sitting there laughing. Like, she thought it was so funny. It was super funny. When she the one who hook this whole thing up she would like hook up these little scenarios and then watch everybody fight and it should be like yeah because that could never be me because i would have bust her head to the white meat stop the cow but why you running why you running why every time people want to fight you you running oh, oh my god it's it would be times where it would be a hot summer day, y'all. We would be chilling, y'all. The door would bust open, and they'll be like, oh, my God, come downstairs. Come downstairs. Fake aunt just got into it with this person. We go downstairs. Fake aunt brawling with the whole block. I just want you to stop at this point. Please. No more. It's just so much drama. So much drama. Oh, Charisma, go get your mother. Charisma, go get your mother. Fuck no. I'm going to stand on it. Why? Why? 
I want to see you throw them hands. I always see my mother out here throwing these hands, getting into drama, going to jail for you. I want to see you throw them hands. Let me see what you could do, fake aunt. But fake aunt felt like she didn't have to do nothing because she had mad sons. So anytime fake aunt would get to fighting, her sons would just come by with two by fours, smacking bitches in the head. I'm in the ghetto. Knocking holes out for her, doing all of that. But it was giving like, my mother don't got mad sons. My mother only just got me. You don't see her calling me for help. So why are you sitting here calling your sons for help? Why every time it's time to go down, you to oh, charisma, go get your mother. Nah, my mother don't need the drama. My mother chilling right now. My mother chilling. Then you tell her she couldn't fight anyway. Then you tell her all of this. Yeah. It used to be a whole lot of things that's hap that would happen. And my mother would chastise me as being her child. Like, my grandmother would take me over there and be like, Oh, you need to tell your daughter, da 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 Because your daughter, da 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 I told y'all, it was difficult for my grandmother to let my mother be a mother normally. But when I was in trouble or I needed to be disciplined, she wouldn't have no problem with dropping me off to my mom and telling my mom to beat me. Like, no, she's still not beating me. She's talking to me like you should be talking to me, but you're not. Like, y'all always want to do violence and then wonder why the people grow up and be violent like she would like chastise me and discipline me and say certain things when I was over there my mom and then fake aunt would come right behind her like nah I don't even know why you would believe her cause your daughter she sound like she lying anyway keep talking man and you shut the f up huh what the fuck are you talking about we talking about me getting a bad grade in school and you quitting I'm this and I'm this and I'm that like, what are you talking about? Like, fake aunt was weird, but she knew what to say to me and what not to say to me. Because you could tell she wanted to really, like, violate me sometimes. But I would just look at her like, if only you know. I got this phone. I will make that call. I will make that call. My whole family will end you, lady. I didn't like her. And I know y'all probably like, damn, you ain't like her, but why you always going to her house? Because my mother was at her house. And I love my mother. And I'm not going to stop seeing my mother for nobody. But my mother would not see it though i'll be we all would tell her like that's not your friend and my mother be like that is my friend are you dumb pardon me are you dumb i think she's, I dumb. Think she's dumb i think she's dumb I think are you dumb. See, my mother, she a little older, you know? Mind you, all this is going on my mother. My mother's like in her 20s. Because I told you, my mother is young. She's young. She had me young. So my mother's like in her 20s when this is going on. And I'm, I'm a kid, kid when it's all going on. So I'm like, oh my God, like, this is crazy. So basically, like, when my mother's 25, I was 10. Feel me? So remember when I told you that the fake aunt was trying to sleep with my dad and everything, and it was my 10th birthday or whatever that I was over there? My mom was only 25. So all this is going on. My mother's young as hell. She's just crying like, no, because it's my friend. I can't lose my friend because she is the only one who has my back. You're a dummy, bitch. No, she lets you in her house just so she can violate you any chance she get. She lets you in her house so she, she can use you as her punching bag, bro. Whenever she stressed out, whenever she broke, whenever her man break up with her, she come at you to about oh how you don't got custody of your daughter you this you that like she would really violate my mother bro the same way my grandmother then will violate my mother she would do the same thing like she would do the same thing but i guess my mother picked her poison she was like i'd rather it from a the best friend that's not my family than my 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 blooded family so i guess she she had picked up poison but i was like mommy this bitch is not your friend i did not like her we gonna skip past all, all that because there's so many details that i could give y'all but we gonna skip past all of that y'all so staten island when we moved to staten island remember i told y'all that we stayed in fake aunt's crib when i was pregnant with harmony for a little bit so wait for my key so the time when i was in staten first of all i could not stand her i know y'all seen that story time when i was telling y'all a little bit that i didn't really like mm, 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 but see i didn't want to do too much but now i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do a lot i didn't really like fake aunt i still didn't like fake aunt and at that time now i was an adult so now i could actually see what was going on see when i was a kid i wasn't allowed to speak up or say nothing but i was an adult so when i had stayed in her house for them a few couple weeks and i'm looking and seeing how everything going out i noticed that fake aunt did not change at all y'all she did not change at all she was a still she was still the same person but even worse so i will sit here and watch her perfectly purposely get drunk on Friday and then be trying to pull my mother head and push it in the sink and be all on her. Baby, you're crazy! You're a psychopath! 
So now I will be watching this shit. Like, hold on, because now I'm pregnant and I'm a little grown. So now I'm in the arguments. I ain't in the fights. I ain't breaking it up. I'm telling them, chill out. Like, y'all wildin'. So my mother used to be like, you really gonna do this in front of my daughter? You really gonna do this in front of my daughter and her kids? You really gonna do this? And she'll be like, no, fuck that bitch, because you started, because you started. So my mother's like, how I started it? All I asked for was, can I get the bottle? Can I get my bottle? I put in for the bottle. Why can't I get a cup? Like, yo, it was going on on Saturday Night Live. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to get up out of here i cannot wait to get up i hated it there so fake aunt she would say a little stuff to me but i think she knew that i wasn't with the shit so i would just go off on her i don't care if that's your house bitch i would go off on her like she would come say something to me like oh charisma she, she, this is what she said she was mad because every friday she would get drunk and she would take all the kids in the house because there was a lot of kids in the house she would take all the kids in the house to the movie theaters i would not let her take my kids I don't care what how good you are with kids when you drunk you're not being in charge of my toddlers at because at the time promise to say it was toddlers i was pregnant with harmony you're not going to be in charge of my toddlers and other toddlers while you're at the movie theater drunk as hell in new york in staten island it was not given that it never gave that so i kept telling her nah i'm good my kids gonna stay with me like i'm good like i'm oh she told me oh you think your kids better than everybody else you think you and your kids better than everybody else every time we trying to have a function you don't want to let your kids First of all, bitch, I told you I would accept the help and stay at your house for a couple weeks until my kids done. But I never told you, bitch, we was going to be a perfect family. You was going to be taking my kids without my knowledge. None of that. I'm not with none of that. I already know how you are. I grew up basically watching you. I know how you give it up. You're not going to play with my children. And she would just keep trying to pressure me to take my kids. Like, you're not taking my kids, bro. I just don't trust hoes like you. I watch everything you did to my mother when I was growing up. And she would say little stuff like, what's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? And then this is the part that I hate that she would do. Um, get your daughter. Get your daughter because she talking crazy. Yeah, I'm talking crazy and I can back it up. Pregnant all that. Like, I, I it never gave. You think because I'm in your house? You, no. The same way I'm going to respect you because it's your house, you're going to respect me. So when I'm telling you you're not taking my kids, you're not taking my kids. That's it. That's all. It's nothing to talk about. It's nothing to talk about. Nothing at all. That situation happened, right? Let me tell you. So I was trying to be really, really sneaky, y'all. I told you I had me a little trick in um in Staten Island when I was pregnant because I told you Troy was in Ohio selling the money. <laughs> He was in Ohio selling the money or whatever. I was pregnant with Harmony. It was a little trick, which is one of her son's friends. He had money. He had money. So I'm like, oh, yeah, it's winter time. I need new fits, new coats, new this, new that. I need everything for the kids. The baby about to come. I need that bread. I need that bread. So the boy, he would come to see her son or whatever, like, because they would run with each other or whatever. And he would be giving me wads and wads of money. And y'all know who would peep, right? Fake aunt would peep this. And fake aunt would have her little slick shit to say, like, oh, yeah, but you pregnant, though. Like, do your baby father know that? Shut up, bitch. Listen. You mad. You mad. He already told me you been trying to get him and he don't want you. You, you, you mad. You mad. You mad. At this time, y'all, fake aunt had never, ever, ever met Troy before. Never met Troy before. So, Troy comes over for the first time. I'm pregnant. I'm sitting on Troy's lap, right? We in the kitchen, we all having the conversation. So, the dude that come in, the one I told you he was my trick, that's literally what he was. Just give me the money and that's it. Feel me? Because I was pregnant. My stomach was mad big. It's not like I could do nothing with him because I was like wobbling. Feel me? So, he always be like, when you not pregnant, we going to be together. Yeah, okay. Okay, he was crushed when I was with Troy and I him. But you're dumb as shit. I'm sitting on Troy's lap or whatever. The boy comes in. I catch her making faces to Troy. Like trying to, I guess, alert Troy like, oh, whatever. So I look at fake aunt, fake aunt like. Why are you trying to blow me up? Why are you trying to blow me up? When your boyfriend in the room and I just seen you suck two things last night. Boy, ain't no fucking way. Why are you trying to blow me up? Like, why are you, like, I cannot stand that woman. I cannot stand that woman. Then she would do stuff like this. So she would take the food stamp card, right? Go buy all of this junk, literally junk. And I would be hungry. Like, me and my kids would be hungry and I'd be like, I don't eat none of this stuff that you bought. Like, well, if you don't like it, well, what? Well, what? You think I won't punch you in your face because it's your house? Like, you know how many times I have to tell her? Like, you think I won't, like, 
I don't like you, girl. And I've been waiting for you to give me a reason. Like, waiting for you to give me a reason. I don't know what happened to Staten Island. She was sleeping around with so many people. She was sleeping around with a cop. She was sleeping around with her friends' friends. She was trying to steal my mom's man. When this lady got drunk, when fake aunt got drunk, she became so, like, open. Like, she, she was... Gucci popping all over the island. Just popping it. And then she would get up the next morning and would not remember that she just took all these men down. Like, she's a dangerous drunk. She didn't understand that. I don't know how this happened, but somehow she had got exposed. And there was a picture of her private area going around the island. And everybody in the house was making fun of this girl because it looked like literally a ham sandwich. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? They compared it to a ham sandwich and they said that it was hanging. Like it was, I can't explain it y'all, but just imagine a sloppy hanging ham sandwich with the meat that's like long. They was like, that's how her private look cause it's all washed up. That started circling, circling Staten Island. Everybody went crazy. They was talking about this. Some people was coming trying to get a piece. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And then her mother, I'm not going to do too much on her mother because her mother passed away. Her mother would come there. So her mother would say little slick stuff. She would, They would wait till my mom was gone. So her mother would come in and she, her mother basically would say everything to me that she was scared to say. So her mother would come in. Her mother would be like, oh, why are you even here? You know, I never liked you. Even as a little girl growing up, I never liked you. I don't even understand. I kept trying to tell my daughter, like, your mother is not her real friend, but she didn't want to believe me. But now we got to deal with you, the daughter. I, I can't stand you. Like, I don't, I don't even like you. I don't even know why you're here. When are you leaving anyway? Oop. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I just laugh in the mother face because one thing about it, yes, I could be disrespectful back, but this is someone's mother. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, they say, oh, give respect, give respect. I, I wasn't going to do that. She was kind of old. So I was just like laughing in her face. I'd be like, yo, if my mother was here, you wouldn't be saying none of that because my mother would have spit on you. My mother would have definitely spit on you, bro. The same way I'm here for a couple of weeks, I'm paying how I'm weighing, bro. When money come in, when stamps come in, when anything come in, I'm handing it to the owner of the crib, bro. I'm staying with nothing. I'm giving her everything everything bro like and i'm only here for a few weeks i'm not even here for months they, like i'm here for a few weeks like calm down but i would just ignore that because it wasn't given that like it wasn't given what she was saying so i was like yeah you just scared to say what your daughter gonna say because your daughter would know your daughter know and she would always say my daughter know what your daughter knows your daughter knows yeah she know who to play with in this house she come for everybody but me. Yeah. And then she wanted to go. Fake aunt wanted to go, sneakily keep going in the room telling my mom. Like, oh, you need to get your daughter because your daughter got an attitude problem. And I don't want to say nothing to her because she pregnant. Bitch, you don't want to say nothing to me because I punch you in your face pregnant and all that. Like, you know I don't got an attitude problem. I'm seeing you say fake sh um, slick shit. You say a little slick shit to my kids. I'm seeing everything, bitch. I've been peeping this shit since a little girl. Like, you really think I'm going to be grown and be fake with you? Like, girl, I don't like you. I still don't like you bitch and i'm in your house and what you gonna do about it get me out like i used to always tell a bitch get me out if you want me out like i don't like you bro i don't like you like you stay trying to play somebody like you got nothing going on for yourself i wasn't the one or the two obviously now nah, but let's get to this incident so this particular day i think i told you a, yeah, a little bit about this on a baby daddy series but i'm gonna give y'all the gist of it so i told you remember i told y'all that was her first time ever seeing troy i guess she took a liking to troy remember i used to tell you remember i told y'all when she get drunk she would sleep with her friends with her son's friends little minors like come on like come on now she would sleep with anybody who wanted to sleep with her she didn't care who it was it's like i feel like that girl kind of had like a self-love issue and it's crazy because she wasn't ugly i don't know why she would just throw herself around when she was drunk and sleep with the whole neighborhood i kept catching her trying to throw her at my baby father like she kept trying to throw herself at Troy hold up wait a minute and I kept telling her like baby this, no no we're not doing none of this this is not what mind you at this point Troy had already seen a picture of the ham sandwich like everybody had already seen the 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 coochie hanging like it it, it had mouths on that thing why would she say that like so nobody was really like, you know, so Troy was like, nah, we cool, but it's it's not giving that. 
So a couple of times, Troy would go over there, hang out with her sons, play the game, smoke. You know, do what boys do. You know what I'm saying? Because that was the first people Troy knew as coming to Staten Island. He didn't really know nobody else. So he would go chill with the sons or whatever. Sometimes the sons would come chill with him. This particular day, he decided to go chill with the sons. Troy calls my phone and Troy keeps telling me like, yo, um, fake aunt keep trying to throw her coochie at me. Like, oh, now we got to go. She keep coming in the room trying to jump on me. She she's telling me to come in her room. She want to do the do with me. So at this time, y'all, I'm I'm cursing Troy out because me and him we we into it right now. We into it. We get into it, y'all. A couple of minutes later, my water had broke, y'all. <laughs> I walked all the way to fake art and I was cursing fake art ass out. I, I was cursing Troy out. I, I was so bad. I'm like, why did you try to sleep with my baby father? Why did you try to sleep with my baby father? Like, is you dumb? Is you dumb? Mind you, I was already at her house at this point. So I felt like I could disrespect her all day. So I was waiting for her to try this and she really tried it. So my kids and stuff is over there, right? So I'm I'm going in, in labor. So I guess my mother heard the whole thing. My mother was actually upset. Mind you, we get to the hospital, they come, they try to follow me to the hospital, fake aunt, my mom, all of them come to the hospital, I turn them away, they leave. Fake aunt and my mother winds up getting to a fight at the house while my mother is at the house, because my mother is not at my house watching the kids, she's at fake aunt's house watching the kids because the thing was i'm going to leave the kids here because baby powder was staying there at the time so she my mother said the thing is i'm going to leave the, the ch kids here which is only promises to say at the time i'm gonna leave the kids here with baby powder for baby powder to wash the kids while i go watch my daughter give birth fake aunt had a problem with that because fake aunt was asking well why can't you leave the kids with me i want you to leave the kids with me this is my house why you leaving them with baby powder and she live in my house so my mother was trying to explain to her girl me and you we've been drinking we both drunk the kids need somebody who's sober you know baby powder pregnant right now she's sober she could hold down my grandkids while i just go see my other grandkid be born like it's cool it's cool so fake aunt wasn't having that she was like no f that if that's the case you and your grandkids can get the f out of my house stop it get some help and y'all could do this and y'all could do that. And my mother just keep trying to explain to her, like, it's not like that. I'm just saying, like, you kind of drunk. You know, what if you wanted to go with me? Like, we need somebody reliable to watch my daughter's kids. Mind you, I'm hearing this because I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone in a labor bed like this. Oh, mind you, at this time, I'm like six centimeters. So I'm on the phone. I'm like, please, please don't leave my kids with her mommy. I don't trust her. But mind you, it's not on speaker. So she can't hear what I'm saying. But I'm begging and pleading with my mother, please don't leave my kids with fake aunt. I don't trust that lady. Like, she already been trying to see my baby father. She been keep trying to get me to leave my kids with her by themselves. I don't trust her. Like, I don't know what she would say to them or do to them. Like, I'm not saying she a bad person, but it wasn't giving that. So, I was begging and pleading with my mother on the phone. Please don't leave my kids with her. Please, please. In the midst of this fake aunt, she gets really upset because she, my mother says she's leaving the kids with baby powder instead. And fake aunt, she goes, she picks up a glass and she busts my mom in her head with it and basically gave her a concussion. My mother was bleeding and everything. So I'm in the hospital pushing the baby out. My kids is over here screaming and yelling because they seeing this glass fly. They seeing their grandmother bleeding. Baby powder, God forbid, you know, thanks to baby powder. This is why like, I don't mess with her because girl, you stayed with me and you lived with me, my baby father, and you did all of that just so you could turn around and sleep with him and be with him. Cool, I let that go, we grown now. I let it go, I forgive you for it, that's cool. But, I will give you your big one, because baby powder, she held my kids down. This is when our friendship really began. Baby powder seen that shit, baby powder snatched that phone, baby powder said charisma, I'm taking your kids to your house right now. Your mother just got busted in the head, the ambulance coming, the cops got, like, it's, it's a lot going on, fake aunt is grimy, bro. And then fake aunt, seeing baby powder on the phone talking to me, she got mad, so baby powder, she need to get out and find somewhere to stay. So baby powder told me, listen, I'm gonna take the, get the key from your mother, we're gonna walk around the block, I'm gonna take your kids to your house, and we just gonna wait for you to give birth or whatever, and I'm gonna wash them at your house, because right now, I'm getting put out, because I broke the fight up, I'm getting put out because I'm talking to you, I'm getting put out because I'm telling you what's going on with your kids, baby powder held it down, bro, my kids was in there screaming, bro, I'm listening to my kids screaming in the fucking phone, because you wanna bust their grandmother in the head, because my mother don't wanna leave the kids with you, like, I told my mother, please, whatever you do, don't 
don't leave the kids with fake oh, I don't trust that girl. I don't trust her. She gave like, oh, I'm drunk. I'm going to go sell the kids. Like, I don't know what she gave. But it, she gave, you can't be around my kids like that. You can't be around my kids like that. Like, not alone. Not when you drunk. Not when you not in your... No, the tensions was already high. You was already caught trying to sleep with my baby father before I went in the ambulance. So you was already mad at me. You was already tight. She put baby powder out or whatever with my kids. It was like 10 at night. And good thing my house was only around the corner because baby powder went over there. And she did her big one, y'all. She literally held my kids down while she was pregnant, throwing up, sick and everything. She held my kids down, bruh. And that was when our friendship really started. And I let her stay in my house and everything. And at least it is. But yeah. I forgive her for all that. She can do what she want to do. However she want to do it. Me and Troy is no longer a thing. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, yeah, it might be wrong because that was like my friend. And she, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's 2024. I am 30 years old. I have four beautiful children. I forgive you. I won't forget. But I forgive you. You can have that. That was cool. But, like I said, I give her her respects because she seen the situation that I was in that night. I was in labor. She seen the situation that my kids was in. They were screaming, watching their grandmother bleeding. Like, my mother was passed out and everything. Like, it was crazy that night. So, fake aunt did all of this to my mother. Do y'all know this was the final time that my mother have ever spoken to fake aunt till this day? Till this day. And I'm so happy. I said, Mommy, it took her to bust you in the head. For you to stop talking to her. For all these years, she did everything else. Try to jump you. Try to set you up. Try, she did everything to you. And you would you refused to stop talking to her. But it took her to bust you in your head in front of your grandkids. And knock you out and give you a concussion. For you to really leave her alone. She really didn't like you. She was jealous of my mother. And I kept telling my mother that. Like, she jealous of you, mommy. Because my mother was always taken care of. My mother was always that girl. Like, you would think, oh, she... Because, uh, like, for example, I'm 10, she's 25. You would think, oh, she's 25. She don't got no education. She don't really got no crib. She don't got no job. She don't got nothing going for herself. But if you seen my mother and was around her, you would think she had a mansion, a car, and everything else. Because she was always taken care of. She had to get the gap. She would go out and she would get it. She would hustle. She would do whatever she needed to do to get her bread. And fake aunt didn't like that because she couldn't dip and dab and run because she had all these damn kids that was in and out of jail like her kids love jail and even to this day they still in and out of jail it's crazy so yeah she tried to sleep with my dad she tried to sleep with my baby daddy and she tried to sleep with my mom's boyfriend y'all she was trying to take it too far fake aunt was wild and then let me tell y'all this incident i mean this not the last incident but this the final incident i'm gonna tell y'all because i don't even want to keep dragging the story but this is the reason why i decided to tell the story time right Fake aunt, if you're watching this, and I know you are, I just want to tell you that you're the fakest whore in America. You are faker than fake, and I would never do what you did. A couple years ago, I would say probably 2021, 2022, Troy had called me. Troy was panicking. She was freaking out. He was hurt. He was like, where's mommy? Somebody said that mommy, mommy passed away. That my mom passed away. Y'all know my mom dibble and dabble on her little her little drugs. Y'all know that already. It's no secret. She'll tell you herself. Yeah, mommy was dibbling and dabbling in little stuff and like she oh like she she's gone. She's no longer here. He's on the phone. He's crying. I'm start screaming. I'm losing my mind because I'm like, no, nah, my mother no, this not true. This not true. Long story short, come to find out, baby powder told my baby father that. And that's why my baby father didn't want to tell me who told him. So when I had that conversation with Baby Powder, all of them years later, the Baby Daddy series, she told me that fake aunt called her and told her that my mother and died. And that fake aunt was on the phone laughing. She was laughing, saying, yeah, that's what she get. That's good for her. She deserve it. She shouldn't be out there in them streets. She shouldn't be doing this. She shouldn't be doing that. Making up this whole rumor. Feel me? This whole rumor. I hit some fake on. I asked fake on. I said, yo, fake on. So you said my mom passed away. Is it true? Like, what's going on? Mind you, I already know the truth. I just wanted to know her response. Feel me? She not answering the Facebook or whatever. So I hit up one of her nephews. I called him. Yo, um, yeah, is it true that da 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 da? Because that's what fake on said. He trying to get fake on to go on the phone with me. Fake on is telling him to hang up the Facebook messenger call and she's going to write me. 
that's when I knew that she was lying. Because you can't even get on the phone to talk to me voice to voice, woman to woman, about a rumor that you created about my mother dying. And it was crazy. She she wanna write me, oh, I never said that. I don't know how, who said that. Oh, I'ma pray for your mother. I hope she's in good spirits. Shut the fuck up. Come to find out she made up this whole rumor. She laughed about it. She told everybody in Staten Island that this was true. Tom Bay Powder was on the phone kikiing, thinking it was so cute, thinking it was so funny. Fake Aunt also was trying to get Bay Powder to team up against me, talking about, oh, let's go violate charisma since she want to be on YouTube telling story times. Let's violate charisma. Let's tell them how she left her bloody panties in my bathroom. It was all a lie. Which we really debunked that. Me and Baby Powder debunked that shit so fast. Because I said, Baby Powder, how would I leave my bloody panties in her bathroom? And Baby Powder finished the sentence. She said, if you were pregnant. Exactly. My mom, I was about six months when I got to your house. I wasn't bleeding. I never bled. Like, what are you talking about? So, fake art, you've been making stuff up. You've been wanting to smoke. But when I come to you and I ask you what's going on, did you say you, oh, no, nah, I didn't say that. I don't know what's going on. I haven't seen your mother in years. I haven't did this in years. But you just said that my mom, you telling everybody my mom died and you and baby powder was on the phone laughing about it thinking it was cute. Karma works out so crazy because a week later, baby powder mother and fake aunt mother passed away in the grave a week later i also spoke to my mother who was good healthy so y'all making up rumors this is why you got a story time about you fake aunt can't stand you never will don't care how you doing stop commenting on my video saying oh i love how you are no bitch you fake as fuck you always will be fake you're not my mother's real friend i can't stand you yeah that's really the end of this story time if you like this video be sure to like comment subscribe make sure you follow all of my social medias and make sure you go check out that easter vlog where i chefed it up being a real mother something these don't know about but yeah Damn, all this brown sugar glaze, damn, look for it.